Hello everyone. Welcome back to your channel Smoothing Life. A very simple dinner recipe with paneer burji, wheat paratha, rice, cranberry bean and potato curry and a simple ragi dessert is all about today's video. So let's start cleaning all the veggies. These are cranberry bean mostly found in all seasons. There is no need to soak these bean. Just separate the bean, wash and use it directly. Peel the potato and clean the onion. I have washed all these. I'll be using one onion, one tomato, one green chili and potato for the gravy. For the burji, I'm using one and a half onion, one tomato and three green chili. For the paneer burji, I'm slicing the onion, chop the green chili. Chop the tomato and keep aside. For the cranberry and potato gravy, chop the green chili, onion, Dice the potato into small cubes. Roughly chop the tomato, put it in a mixer, add few pudina and coriander leaves, 4 to 5 chunks of coconut and grind into fine paste. For the rice, I am using Sona Masuri, so soak it for 20 minutes. For the paratha, take 1 cup of atta and knead into a smooth dough using warm water. I have added little salt. Now knead it into a smooth dough with warm water. Warm water will make the parathas soft and fluffy. A very simple dessert with ragi powder. For this mix one ladle of ragi powder with enough water and milk. Whisk to get a smooth batter without any lumps. Add sugar as per taste, a pinch of salt, whisk it again. Now cook until the ragi is thick and the raw smell goes. Add a teaspoon of jaggery powder. If it is thick, add little more water and keep cooking. Finally, add 2 teaspoon of ghee and a pinch of elaichi powder.
transfer into the bowl top it with dry fruits and allow it to chill for the paneer burji add 2 tablespoon oil to a kadai add half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and fry for a minute add 1 teaspoon of coriander powder half teaspoon of turmeric powder quarter teaspoon of jeera powder quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder and quarter teaspoon of whole jeera now add the sliced onion and green chili fry for 2 more minutes do not over fry the onion should be crispy add salt and fry again I have this crushed paneer add this and mix until the water evaporates Now add quarter teaspoon of vinegar the chopped tomato and fry for 2 more minutes finally add a handful of chopped coriander leaves mix and a very tasty paneer burji is ready for the cranberry and potato gravy heat a cooker add 2 tablespoon of oil add in the onion and green chili fry until the onion is light brown in color in between keeping water for the rice add salt and allow it to boil now to the onion add 1 tsp of ginger garlic paste and fry until the raw smell goes add 1 tsp of coriander powder 1/2 tsp of turmeric powder quarter teaspoon of jeera powder quarter teaspoon of garam masala and fry add the ground paste and fry until oil leaves the surface Now add the bean potato and enough water for the bean to cook. Pressure cook for two whistle. Meanwhile knead the dough and start making parathas roll out into large chapati brush some oil sprinkle atta roll it 
Stretch a little and make peda. Again roll out into small parottas. Now the rice is getting cooked. The bean is also cooked. Add enough water for the gravy and allow it to boil completely. Add a pinch of kasuri methi and few curry leaves. Now the cranberry and potato gravy is ready. Fry the parathas by applying oil. The table is all set. So this was my today's dinner vlog. Hope you all liked it. We'll be back with more videos. Thanks for watching.